Simple enough. <laughs> Y'all doing all right? Yeah, I'm doing good. Doing good. I'm good. I can't complain. Good. Uh, I wanted to ask you about uh, two, there at least two skills of thought on practice, on tackling, tackling to the ground, yeah. or not tackling to the ground. I wonder where you fall on that. And what, I don't know what you're doing. Now. No, I, I think when you, um, as far as tackling is concerned, you know, when you're thudding people up, it's easier to tackle to the ground at practice. And obviously there are situations that comes up as injuries and things like that. But when you're thudding a ball carry up, it's a lot harder to thud a ball carry up at practice than just take it to the ground. Because you got to work on your footwork, you got to work on your pad level, and you got to be an athlete. So I think that helps you tackle. Um, and it's about putting guys in situations to do so. Uh, I think everybody across the board worked on tackling this week. Uh, even the big guys in space. And I think there are some opportunities we left out there that we couldn't get the quarterback on the ground, whether we're trying to sack him or affect him or whatever may happen. Um, so that's always improvement. And I, you look around college football and everybody has to work on a day in and day out. So, you know, that's, that's kind of, that's what it is. You got to focus on that stuff and it never gets old and you never can't do it. When you were playing, what was practice? Well, you know, when I played, they had leather helmets. <laughs> and, uh, no, it was the same thing. Uh, it was literally putting guys in situations to make plays. So, you know, we did that at that position, and you still thudded people up. You just can't afford to go out um, and, and tackle them to the ground every day. You, you can't do that. And, you, and we did the same thing then, and it's been like that for a long time all across the country. Coach Cream came and spoke to the team here recently. Just what do you think of that message of that Alabama fraternity? I think it was dead on. Um, obviously, he knows he's had a lot of success both on the field and coaching, and and that's true. It's it's a it's a crimson jersey fraternity, and you know I don't know if people understand the significance it has to wear, you know, the crimson jersey and represent not only the people on the field but all the fans that we have. And um, it's a high expectation. It's always been, regardless of circumstances, that's what it's always been. And that's why people come to Alabama. How do you think the players kind of embraced that message? They did. Uh, they did a really good job. Actually, some of my guys asked about it and who he was, and I told them. Um, but it's good to hear what he had to say for them guys. I know sometimes, you know, some of those guys don't understand the significance of playing here. Um, and they learn as they go, you know, as part of their development. But they received it and took it the right way. And, you know, they got to continue to get knowledge of what's going on and how we're doing things. We saw both Overton and Latham play at the same time on the D-line last mm -hmm. Saturday. What kind of what went into doing that? This part of the package we got, um, you know, we're trying to get good players on the field. And we had several guys rotate in at the same time. But those two have done a really good job. They continue to work. They play the same position. So when you can get them on the field to try to affect the passer, that, that's a plus for us. Having them both on the field at the same time, what does, it, what does that do for just the rest of the defense? Um, you know, I think it just, when you got Jihad out there and those guys, they can rush. You know, that's what they play, their edge guys who can go out there and put pressure on. We just got to get the quarterback on the ground when we're trying to affect him. Um, but those two guys are leaders for us. I know obviously LT transferred in and Latham has been here for, um, for a while, but those two guys feed off each other. They do a really good job. Tennessee's got a running back who's been pretty dynamic this year, a lot of touchdowns. What kind of stands out about him on film? Uh, the, the guy is a really good football player. Obviously, he scored a lot of touchdowns. Uh, he's got good balance and body control. He's got a burst that can finish long runs. Uh, and he's hard to bring to the ground. Uh, we have to do our job as far as fitting the gaps. Uh, when we had an opportunity to wrap him up, wrap him up and bring him to the ground. What kind of stands out about their overall run game, offensive line? Including? They do a really good job. You know, they spread, spread guys out a lot. Um, and limit two you can have in the box and run. Offensive line's physical up front. They're big. There's three of them that's been playing for a long time. Um, so they've been consistent. You know, I think people look at them and think they just throw the ball all the time. They do a really good job of running it as well.